Hello. So um, today I wanted to talk about my favourite writers. Um, I decided to split it into fiction and non-fiction. Um, so the first person I want to talk about is my favourite fiction writer and that's David Nichols who is most famous for writing One Day. Um, I really love him um, because of One Day. Uh, I read the book when it first came out um, and I'm, I guess I must have been about 24 at the time. So it's probably been out for about eight years um, and normally I buy all my books cheap at the um, at the charity shop and this particular one I'd seen so many reviews come out um, and they were all so good that I was like I really need to have this book so I bought the hard copy book um, I don't know where it is now but it was I, I, I cried, I laughed, it was just so good, so good. I think I just read it at, at the right time as well because I was going through a time when I was looking for a full-time job. I was still, you know, fairly young um, and I just really related to the main character, Emma. Uh, I just thought it was so well written and um, the thing with David Nichols is if you didn't know who had written the book you would think that a woman had written the book he his writing is just so female <laughs> in a way but we, oh it's just so good um but the the idea behind one day is that it follows these two characters who get together on their last day um at university on their day of graduation and this is on the 15th of July and it follows them every year for 20 years afterwards um, throughout their lives and how they drift together and apart throughout these 20 years and I won't spoil what happens but it's heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking and it has been made into a movie. I remember when I read the book um, to start with I said this is definitely going to be made into a movie I thought it was going to be like a kind of Richard Curtis type love actually movie um it was a little bit more indie than that because I think it was they started making it before it had become the big hit that it was as a book so it was quite an indie movie but it had Anne Hathaway in it um and I really enjoyed it it did get a bit of stick, the movie, and I must admit that Anne Hathaway's northern accent left a lot to be desired, but the movie still did the trick and I was absolutely sobbing after I'd seen it. And yeah, everyone was thought that somebody had actually died in my real life. I was so upset. Um, so I was banned from reading books for a little while after that because I was so upset. David Nichols is great uh, for other books as well. He's done Us, uh, which I read as, again as soon as it came out. I got the uh, hardback copy. Again, it's a lovely, lovely book. It's not as sad and heartbreaking as One Day. Um, and it obviously didn't do as, as well as that because One Day was just off the scale. So good. But um, it, it's just so good so good and he does he makes me laugh out loud as well there are bits in the book where I proper laugh and you don't get that very often in a book so I do highly highly recommend it so getting on to my non-fiction um sorry this is a cup of soup it's got croutons in it that's what I'm chewing um my non-fiction favourite writer is Cheryl Strayed. Um, so, Wild I read about two years ago. Um, and it's basically about her walk along the PCT in America. So I'll read you the blurb. So it says, at 26, 
Cheryl Strayed thought she had lost everything. In the wake of her mother's rapid death from cancer, her family drifted apart and her marriage crumbled. With nothing left to lose, she made the most impulsive decision of her life, to walk 1,100 miles of the west coast of America and to do it alone. She had no experience of long-distance hiking and the journey was nothing more than a line on a map, but it held a promise, a promise of piecing together a life that lay shattered at her feet. Um, so Cheryl Strayed is um, a writer who wasn't really doing anything up until this time. She was just waitressing. Her life didn't sound as though it was a sort of going anywhere. She was getting a divorce. She was sleeping around a lot. She was taking heroin. Everything sounded really quite dark. Um, and she just upped and left and did this amazing thing. Uh, and I think that's what I like. I'm quite an impulsive person and I'm one of these people who would do something like that. Um, and I also do a lot of long distance stuff. I, I like to run like 100 milers. So 1100 miles is a long way. And it's the fact that she didn't even have any experience. She literally was taking heroin the week before she get, got onto the trail and did this thing that people train for for months and years. Um, and it, the memoir as well, it wasn't just about the ins and outs of what happened on the trail. It was um, very much about her, her mother's death as well, which obviously impacted her life greatly. Um, and it focused on what a lot of women do struggle with, I think. Um, it, it touched on things about how we can't just leave our lives um, normally because we have children and we have jobs and we have houses and I think it it showed that we're almost hemmed in by our lives and sometimes when we have this urge to break free people perceive it as being self-destructive and I've had people say this to me that I'm self-destructive which is it's hurtful, um, especially when you're trying to better yourself. But I think, especially as a woman, you, you can't just break free. And I think it's almost sad that this book has done so well because it reflects on that. She is a very wise woman. Um, she is famous as well for doing this column called Dear Sugar where she is a, um, a an agony aunt um, and she has a podcast. I work in a forest so I get to walk around outside all day and I have my headphones in and I listen to this podcast and it is brilliant. She is so so wise like people write in with all kinds of questions for her and she doesn't so much give them advice as she relates it to her own life. She does give them advice, but she relates it to her own life. So you don't feel like she's just preaching to you and doesn't know what she's talking about. Um, and it's, it's, it's really good. And they have put um, some of the answers that she's put down um, on the website into a book called Tiny Beautiful Things. And I highly recommend that. Um, a couple of my friends got that book as Christmas presents last year because it's just such a great book and I think everybody needs some Cheryl Strayed in their lives. The book, Wild, um, was so special to me because it did encourage me to write. Um, Cheryl Strayed wasn't in a great place when she did the PCT and um, afterwards she got to the end and she had you know, two or three dollars to her name. Um, but everything worked out and she is a famous writer now. And I, I just think at the end it's so poignant when she finishes on this um, bridge called the Bridge of Gods. I don't know where it is. But um, she met her husband shortly after she finished there 
and she ended up getting married like not far from that spot and it just it feels like it all rounded off so nicely and that's the way it was meant to be it was like and she does say that at the end of the book that for all she went through a lot of pain and a lot of agony um, losing her mother and going through all the drugs and the divorce um, it was all those things that got her to the place that she was in and and now look at her life she went to the flipping Oscars the other year um, because they made her book into a movie and um, that has just come on to Netflix in the UK so I highly recommend you watch it um, I was a bit dubious about watching it because uh, it was such a good book and I, I wasn't sure whether they'd be able to do it justice in an hour and a half but fucking hell Reese Witherspoon is amazing I, I love that woman I'm a straight woman but I have a crush on Reese Witherspoon she's hot um so yeah they are my two favourite authors. Um, I do have so many other authors that I love, but um, those two just stick out for me recently. Um, and it would be really nice to hear if anyone else has read either of those writers, or if you have anyone that you would recommend me to read. So. I will call that a day and hopefully I will have another video out next week. Thank you. Bye.